Good morning. This is Nuke the News Media. How you doing today? I've got a good story for you. Um, there's been some farmers that have discovered some wheat crops that just won't die. And they've found some uh, major problems with it. They've called in some scientists and they've found that it's got GMO in it. Franken wheat. It's a story from CNN. Let's give it a listen. genetically modified wheat in a field in Oregon is a growing concern around the world. That's why officials are working fast to solve this mystery. A wheat plant that simply wouldn't die. The revelation struck fear in some farmers and families and brought more negative attention to a company already in the global crosshairs. I knew it was going to be an extremely sensitive issue. Carol Mallory Smith was charged with testing the plant in this Oregon State University lab. She found it was a genetically modified organism, commonly known as a GMO. All of the tests that we did came up positive. On May 29th, the USDA confirmed the wheat was genetically modified by the multinational seed corporation Monsanto to resist the company's own popular Roundup wheat killer. The modified wheat was never approved for market, and many nations that import American grains are leery of GMOs. South Korea and Japan have even gone so far as to suspend U.S. wheat shipments since the discovery. It could definitely contribute to a downward spiral if we don't get this fixed or explained. Grower Darren Paget has 3,200 acres of wheat nearly ready for harvest on his family's farm. He says just the fear of genetically modified wheat could impact his bottom line, especially since 90% of Oregon's wheat crops are exported most of it to Asia. You know, your number one cash customer leaves you, that definitely puts you in a bit of a pickle. For seven years, Monsanto tested its Roundup-resistant wheat in several states. Those trials ended in 2005, and the company says it took precautions to make sure its modified wheat didn't end up in any other fields. You don't have 10-year-old seed, wheat seed in the soil emerging 10 years later. Now a professor and crop expert at Oregon State, Bob Zemetro worked on those Monsanto wheat field studies. My most likely scenario is it's an accidental mix that something was sitting on a shelf. And somehow it went from the shelf into the seed. No matter how it happened, it's a nightmare for moms like Zen Honeycutt, who doesn't think GMOs are healthy. You really. What a shame. What a bunch of crap. What a bunch of lies from the Monsanto people. They knew that this stuff would cross-pollinate with other fields. They set up. They would have had to dome the whole wheat field acre that they was trying it on until it was fully harvested and gone, and they'd have had to sweep up the pollen dust and everything. There's no way. No way they could have stopped the cross-pollination if they did it around other wheat fields. This is just insane. Oh, boy. Wheat farmers have got a big problem. And he's right. They should be worried because these other countries ain't going to buy them. And it's going to kill us. It's already killing us. I hate to bring this kind of news to you, but we got to know the truth. And uh, they're not going to they're not going to show this. But once every blue moon and, you know, they're not going to hardly harp on it. They never even covered the whole um, the rally. And, and this story was broke, actually came out before the rally happened and the rally happened. And then they come out with this story. So, you know, if this would have came out before. It had got thousands of more people on the streets. Thousands. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good day. We've got to do something about this. No to GMO. Don't buy it. Grow your own crops. Find an old farmer somewhere who's got some good seed. He's, he'll, he'll be willing to give it to you. This is Ch Chatty Dad 1. Nuke the News Media. Signing off.